Hey guys, what's up? It's Zin here. So today I wanted to do kind of a wear and tear update on the Surface Laptop 2. Uh, just in case if anybody is thinking of either getting it for the holidays, getting it for somebody for the holidays, or if you already got it and just kind of know how it's held up. I do have a review on this laptop already on my channel and I have been using it, I want to say almost every single day since I've gotten it. In terms of wear and tear within the actual computer, there's no lagging. I haven't seen anything from basically the quality of the computer going down over time. I know with some of the Windows laptops, we kind of worry that the systems are going to get slower or maybe the updates are going to ruin the computer somehow or something like that. So I haven't had any of those issues with the laptop. I stand by what I said in the previous video, which is that it's basically a fingerprint magnet. So there's a lot of fingerprints that you can see on this laptop as soon as you pick it up, touch it. And that's just inevitable because of the matte finish with this laptop. In terms of the outside, there's no scratches or anything like that. It's still pretty pristine. I'm sure if I wipe all this dirty, oily disgustingness off, there won't be anything under it. No cracks, nothing like that. The laptop itself is um, still really pretty. I barely use the touch screen. That's just a preference of mine personally. A lot of people worry about this Alcantara lining and I can kind of see why. I'm going to show some kind of close up so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. On one side, there doesn't seem to be any issues, but I realized on this other side, there's kind of developed like this spongy material where you can kind of see the holes in the Alcantara lining. As far as the dirtiness factor goes, this thing has or does get um, a little bit of lint every once in a while, which is fine. That's to be expected. I mean, it's a little hard to clean, but I feel like that's also pretty typical with keyboards in general. As for the keys, they're still pretty easy to type on. None of the keys are falling out. Um, the trackpad still works magnificently. I haven't had any issues with that at all. I would say the edges of the laptop here, where the Alcantara meets the metal, it's a little rough. Um, I'll try to insert close up so you can see that a little better too. On the sides, it's perfect, but I'm guessing it's just over here, it's starting to get a little bit roughed up. As for the rubber feet on the bottom of the laptop, I put this down everywhere from tabletops to tabletops to granite tops to, I don't know, my lap. Nothing hard or nothing scratchy for sure, but the rubber feet are doing okay with the exception of one of the feet where the things are kind of coming out a little bit. The rubber is like starting to rub off, but that's actually not on the feet itself where it comes into contact with surfaces. Overall, the laptop is still very, very easy to use and I still enjoy it a lot. Some other things about the laptop is a lot of times when I take this laptop out with me, I compare it to my other friends and then this laptop is so much lighter than anyone else's. Um, I don't hang out with a lot of people that have MacBooks, but in terms of other Windows laptops, this is definitely one of the lightest and sleekest laptops out there. I have gotten a lot of compliments whenever I use this laptop. People, random people coming up to me and saying that's a really nice laptop or it's just a very, you know, sleek laptop. And lastly, when you're considering a laptop, I think aside from usability, it's very important that you yourself like the laptop. And I really like the feel of my laptop. When I use it, I feel like it is very sturdy. It feels like a good laptop. And there's no other way to kind of explain that other than after using it for so long, it still feels like brand new. So I had the laptop for a little over a year now and I just enjoy using it. And there's really no other determinant other than the fact that you yourself really enjoys using the laptop. So sometimes if you think that it's the right laptop for you, you used it and you've liked it yourself, don't care what other people have to say in terms of specs and things like that because it's something that you're going to use and not them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope it helps somebody out and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye!